It's a quiet July morning in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island, and then everything changes. The homeowner was standing in that spot just two minutes earlier, where a two-centimeter divot now smoldered. Looking to confirm what landed just outside their door, they called in experts 4,700 kilometers away in Alberta. The University of Alberta's Chris Hurd took fragments back to his lab here and determined it was indeed a meteorite, or Charlottetown as its official name. By chance, Hurd was in PEI on a family vacation and couldn't miss going to the scene to investigate himself. Standing in their homeowner's, uh, in the owner's kitchen, uh, using their their kitchen scale to kind of weigh out the material, sort of get an idea of what, how much stuff was collected. The meteorite likely came from the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. It possibly traveled light years at the right speed and trajectory to land on PEI. It's the first in the island's history and the first to ever be recovered in the Maritimes. Heard says meteorites often have elements that are natural to the Earth. This one contains nickel and iron. It's just pulverized. And there's one flake right in there in the middle. You can kind of see that's a piece where the fusion crust is preserved, that outer crust. So that would have been on the very outside of the, of the rock. But the research continues for Hurd and his team, including learning more about the rock and how big it was before it hurtled through the atmosphere and landed on a random island property. In Edmonton, James Dunn, City News.